Okay, I'm, I'm making a starter for the uh, amber ale I just brewed um, this this weekend here. Now, uh, a disclaimer: this should have been done before I even started brewing, or I even uh, uh, mashed and you know made it. But the thing is, um, I never know when my brew days are because there are weekends I don't plan to do. I, I plan to do it and then don't, so I make mine later. My uh, the the wort sits in the carboy and the uh, fermenters for about two days before I had the yeast. I've been doing that for so many months. It never hurts anything that I just continue doing that. However, I recommend definitely start make your starter at least two days in advance. Two to five days is best. So since it's an amber ale, I have, as you can see here, my, my uh, amber dry malt extract. It's getting down the bottom here, but that's what I've got. Um, so I've got a package of that, about one pound package. And then over here, uh, I have, since I have 10 gallon, I made a 10 gallon batch, uh, I have a little over half a gallon of water that's going to boil. So, what I'm going to do is, now for 5 gallons, you'd only want a quart starter, 32 ounces, but again, I made 10 gallons, half gallon starter. So what, I, what I'm doing here is taking my cup, measuring cup, my one cup measuring cup, okay, and I'm going to pour in, since if it was only a single starter, I would only pour in uh, one, one full cup of this. But I'm going to use two here. This video might get a little bit long since I'm giving a little more explanation than I normally would. So, you see here, I'm dumping this in. I wish it would go a little faster than that. That's kind of slow. Okay. There we go, it's about a little over half full now. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, we are just about to the top. Yeah, there we go, it's looking good. Very good, okay. So, in fact, I'm just gonna, since, since my bag is almost to the bottom, I'm just gonna use the whole thing. So I would dump this in here, and it's, it's going to have to come to a boil, but there's part of it. In fact, you know what, even though I should measure this out, the, uh, there's actually about a cup left in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and dump it in. There's, there's not much left. In fact, there may be just under a cup of uh, amber malt extract left. Now, just so you know, um, okay, there, there is pale amber wheat and some dark light malt extra or uh, um, dry malt extracts which you've seen here that's the powder um, so normally if you're making a pale or a lighter colored beer yeah you, you'd want to use the pale uh, dry malt extract if you're making amber make the amber malt extract wheat beer Hefeweizen use a wheat extract do you have to use that kind with it no no you don't but, again, think of it, you know, you're making a starter, you're making something that's going to activate your beer, you really want to stay in the same realm, it just makes sense. So, you know, but if, it, it's, if it's a crunch, and, and, okay, you're making, you know, you're making a, a pale ale, and all you have is some dark or some wheat, well, use this, it. not going to kill it, but, you know, do the best you can. So, what's going to happen after this, is it's going to boil for 15 to 20 minutes, after that, uh, it's, it's, it's getting to boiling now. It's starting up on that. Uh, towards the uh, end of the, the boil, let, let's say I do a total of, of uh, 20 minutes or, you know, whatever. In the last five minutes of the boil, I use some of this. This is yeast energizer. And what it does is I use um, half a teaspoon per gallon. But what they're talking about by that is not, is not per gallon of beer it's per gallon of starter since a half gallon I'd use about half to half a teaspoon but I'm going to use about one teaspoon in the mixture in the last few minutes that eats the fat that absorbs the fatty acids in the wort and allows it to multiply and grow beyond its own so use the contents I said one quart of water allow be used extra for evaporation because some will evaporate one cup of your dry malt extract. This is all per five gallons of beer. Okay. And then optionally yeast energizer. <coughs> Let this boil for 15 to 20 minutes. Cool down to 80 degrees or less. 
mix it with your yeast energized, uh, your your smack pack or your yeast culture, which I will show, and pitch that in your beer. But you're going to want to let that sit. For, you will want to let that sit for two to five days because pitching it right away, all that's going to do is, well, it's going to make it ferment, but that's about it. It has not, the purpose is, is to colonize, create more yeast cells. Pitch it right away won't do that. It needs two plus days to create more yeast cells, okay? So, let's sit room temperature for two to five days, then pitch it.